Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of X-Life. X-Life is a modded SMP where we start on one heart. Every time we die, we gain a heart until we are eventually banned from the server at 10 hearts. Ah! <laughs> she, uh... <laughs> Lizzie just spawned literally directly behind me and about scared the life out of me. We are on an important mission at the start of today's episode for the Coven. So, because I am the Beast Tamer, which I feel it is very important that we have a good log of all of the different beasts on X-Life, I'm gonna take my book and quill and me and Blue behind me are gonna go on an adventure. Are you ready, Blue? Are you prepared? You're looking fierce as ever. Because I'm not building right now, putting my Ring of Flight in the bag and taking out my magical broom so that we can do all of our hunting. I also want to make sure that I'm able to collect any animals that I need to for research purposes, of course. But I have some animals on me at the minute, so we're just, we're gonna let these guys go free. Spidey, um... You're super nice, so you get to hang out there. I already have a pen set up for deer, so you get to go in there and make friends. Perfect, you don't seem scared at all. Finally, I do actually need a place for the Moo Bloom, and although this is not going to be their final resting spot, I do kind of already have this spot sectioned off, so I'm gonna use it for now. Right, you two should be right at home here. Uh, well, maybe not quite at home. Let me decorate. Here you go, Moo Blooms. This should help you feel a little bit more at home, at least I hope. Here's some nice, nice lovely carpets. Yes, enjoy your time here. Now, it's time for the most important part. We need to go and do some research. Let's head off. Hmm, so far, nothing too suspicious. Nothing very beast-like. Hmm, what is that? It's our first discovery. It's quite a peculiar type of pig. I must write this down. Entry number one. My first discovery is a quite peculiar species of pig. Black skin, purple and white eyes, doesn't appear to be hostile. I'll report back to this entry if I discover more interesting facts. I seem to be stumbling upon an interaction here. Oh dear. Okay. Well, folks, that is nature. And I will be leaving before that thing hunts me. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. This is a, it's a brutal chase I found myself in here. No, no, no. I think I'll be writing about this interaction from the sky because that's terrifying. Entry number two. I stumbled upon a predator prey situation. A deer getting brutally murdered by a hog in water. Hog one, right, entry number two is complete. You know, as riveting as this is, there has to be somewhere a little bit more magical here on the X-Life server. I want to get beasts. And as much as I've enjoyed seeing pigs and cows and boars, I want beasts. I'm a beast tamer, I need a challenge. Mm, you're not quite challenging enough. I've heard that somewhere on this server, there is a portal that takes you to a different dimension. And when in this dimension, there are so many terrifying creatures that need to be studied. I've looked into it and it turns out there needs to be a portal in order to go through. So I'm gonna see if I can find a portal at my friend's house. I think this cave area in here looks promising. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at these portals. I think this pink one is calling my name. I'm scared. What do you think, Blue? Are you scared to go into the other dimension? Okay, well, we must go. We must be brave. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Where am I? Whoa, what is this? <gasps> Whoops, I broke it. What? Fossilize the log, fossilize tiles. Cool. Well, we're not here for the flora. We're here for the fauna. So I guess I ought to go exploring. What is that up ahead? Oh, it appears to be observing something. The way it tilts its head is quite interesting. Let's slowly sneak up on it and see what it is. Oh, there's multiple. Would you call this a herd? What is it? Hello, sir. Are you friendly by any chance? It appears to be slightly fearful. It has six legs, two horns, and it is non-hostile. And it likes warm hugs. Oh, I love it. Well, I believe this creature requires much further study. So you are going to come with me and live in the overworld for a little while. Do you mind? 
I have discovered a pack of animals. They appear almost dog-like. However, there's something a bit different about them. They move very quickly, and they have bright blue or purple features. What is this? Salt. Interesting. Hello, little creature. Are you friendly? You are, you're friendly. Blue, what do you think of these creatures? Aren't they just incredible? We've never seen anything like this, Blue. This is groundbreaking discoveries for the coven. Okay, Blue, you're getting a little distracted. What on earth are you? I've never seen an animal like this in my life. Look at its long nose. Oh, and it moves so fast on its six legs. You have six legs. That's impressive. I must take you back to the coven. Come with me. It is a growth sapper. What is a growth sapper? I won't lie, that sounds a little bit scary. I think I'll be keeping it in the lasso. Entry number five. Slightly terrifying name, cute appearance. Brown and blue in color, long nose. This biome is very sinister looking, but there is a creature there. So alas, we must explore. The ground appears to be safe to walk on but the trees almost look like they're burning. It's odd looking mineral as well. Oh, <gasps> it burns. This is a lava. Okay, thank goodness I didn't touch it. <gasps> what is this creature? It appears almost humanoid and is walking slowly directly towards me. I'm not confident that it is friendly, so I am choosing to capture it. These odd looking dinosaurs are here as well. They're absolutely stunning and they do appear to be friendly. So this is good. I wonder if they're able to survive the scorching land. It's odd that something can survive here. I think that I've done enough research for now. I'm a little bit spooked and I think it's time to return to the coven. But before I do, I'm gonna do a little bit of crystal gathering. This is on my own time. I just, I think they're pretty and I want them in my base. Home, sweet home. Our bestiology book is filling out nicely. What do you think, Blue? We've done quite well for ourselves. Why are you up on my candles? Very cool. Okay, right, but there's important things to attend to because Joey has called for a meeting. So I must run to the coven very quickly. Blue, you're coming with me. Let's go. Alrighty, sisters. I'm glad you came here on this very last minute coven meeting. Yes. We have a bit of a situation. Something happened, Joey. <gasps> Something what? happened? What happened? Oh, well, <laughs> this, is the, this is the reason why we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Has everybody read this book? No, I haven't. Inform read yourself yet. immediately. Lizzie, do the honors of reading it to us. <clears throat> Dearest Coven, I, mm. Smallish Beans, a proud member of Jeremyism, Wait, a proud Jeremyism member would like to welcome you to the X-Life server. I hope our two groups can be friends. To show our goodwill here are some emeralds and the offspring of Donkey Jeremy. <laughs> Please accept these gifts. To show that you are friendly, I request that you let me build an island off of the Coven Island. On this island, I shall build a Jerembassy. <gasps> mm. Obviously... Uh, Obviously, you also have permission to build an embassy in the Jeremy Holy Land if you yeah. so wish to do so. Please let me know if I have been granted permission. May the Jeremy be with you, Joel. Wow. <laughs> yeah, That's so I read that and I was like, I know we're anti-Jeremy, but like, this is interesting. I love the Jerembassy. I would love a Jerembassy. What? What? Well, you don't you don't want to forge alliances with another powerful. You know, we can put that a little suspicious. in their holy land, and we can sneak on them and see what they're doing. Yeah, Listen. we can send an ambassador well, the same to, to Jeremy. Holy sisters, land, sisters, sisters. This is clear that Jeremiahism is trying to spread, and it wants to be everywhere at all times. We can't, we can't let them just take oh. over our coven. We already knew that Jeremiahism was trying to spread everywhere, but they're just unsuccessful. We're clearly the superior group here. Yes, that is agreed. that is Clearly. true. Maybe we can right. negotiate a better deal. We are in power here. We have we have <gasps> numbers. We do have numbers. We That's do right. have numbers, and we're yes. growing fast. And we, we are growing. The yes. There are many members who want to join us. Hmm. 
I think we need to negotiate. I think that's right. Um, I we should send a message back. Wait, this is why we need an embassy and an ambassador so that our negotiations can go through a spokesperson for our coven. Oh. Mm. Okay. Who wants to be the spokesperson? I nominate Jem. Me? I nominate Jem. <laughs> I know. I heard that nomination. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I mean, that's probably true. I'm a little too chaotic. I would probably end a up little. killing someone. So <laughs> I don't kill people. That's true. I have that going for me. Yeah. Hmm. Listen, I don't. I don't agree with him having an island here. I've I've seen his videos, and it seems like he's trying to steal our ideas, ladies. Mm. What, that's really? true. He's building a lot of floating islands over his so-called holy land. Mm. It what if rubs me what if we way. make him build his embassy on the ground below yeah. our island? Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Idea. Yeah. is good. See, you know. negotiations. Yes, yes, yes. Let's because then that. he can't see what we're doing up here if he's down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't have a broom anyways. He can't get in. Yeah. We'll keep him literally in the shadows. <gasps> in the shadows. <laughs> yeah. And we could okay. have the most illustrious building in his Jeremy Holy Land. So every time all of his followers go to pilgrimage in jeremy holy land they'll be maybe swayed by the coven exactly. yes. oh, yeah. convert his members. Be perfect. <gasps> oh my coming. god yes we should try to convert them all <laughs> shelby i think yes. we can convert megan oh Ooh. i think we i think we can too she anybody to else gem, gem 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 i think we can convert jimmy oh we can <gasps> absolutely convert jimmy lizzie do you think you can convert joel Oh, that's, that's a hard <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> we'll work on him last. I'm going to go with no. We'll get all the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, try. Well, we can arrange a I meeting think we should maybe with message. Joel. See what he's saying. Get a message his way. Yeah. Try to get a deal. We should arrange a meeting in um, a neutral location. That is yes. neither Coven territory nor Jeremy is in territory. No man's in between, idea. in between our lands. <gasps> we could make an area down here since we're so close, like a neutral zone. Oh, yeah. That's in perfect. Between. Okay. Well, let's plan a meeting with them. But ladies, we have another issue at hand. Oh, yeah. Oh. What is this? Do you There's a magic this is connected. Magic connected. So what I was on before and I saw this and when I was here, I just saw the, the pillagers and I didn't know they were named tag the police. They were pillagers and I killed them. What? And well, come down. I left one. I left one down here. He doesn't have pillagers? weapons, but I, I realized too late that they were name tagged, so I was murdering them. <laughs> you murdered the magic police? Yeah, this is the the one sole yeah. magic I feel like police that's left. Probably uh, oh. Not good for us. <laughs> we need we need a jail cell. We need to interrogate him. <gasps> yeah. Put him in, jail. No, Ooh, we put him in the restricted Catherine section. Crime. Ooh, good restricted. idea. Let's see if I have some more iron bars. Do you Look think at him this in is there. a crime from Jeremiahism? I don't know no, who else would do it. I heard on the grapevine that this yes. also happened to Jeremyism. Mm. The magic police are investigating Jeremyism oh, no. too. Really? Are against it? us. Who could it be? The hmm, only huh. people that aren't in either are Flip Scott and Quig. Quig. H. 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 Ollie. Could be Ollie. No, it's not Ollie. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> not Ollie. <laughs> it could also be a setup to make it look hmm. like it's not them. True. True. Maybe it's that like being <gasps> a good agent. What? That makes me think it's Flip. Oh, Why? he is oh. smart like that. You're right. Yeah, Fwip oh, has the smarts. Lizzie, you're a genius. Yeah. He knows about Minecraft Wait, wait, stuff. wait. Why? Why is the Fwip? Because well, if you <laughs> run down the weapons You on would the have villagers. to know about pillagers in order to get them to look like this and be passive. Yeah, I know yeah. nothing Actually, about them. So. I don't know he how he did so that. How do you do that? <laughs> you just have to go up to them with a shield and let them shoot you until their bow breaks. Oh. oh. That you definitely know, sounds like that. You're very oh, smart, well, Gem. I'm smart. <laughs> That's why you keep me around, okay? It's not me. <laughs> are you turning on the coven? Why are you always sus of me, Joey? Always. Oh. In every game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right, sisters, we fly. Let's go have this meeting. It's a while to get down there. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, sisters, we are here. Lovely landing. Hello. 
Oh, I got it. That's good. <laughs> All under oh. control. No worries. It's very graceful. I know. Don't have to. Tell me. Where is he? On his magic carpet. Oh. Hello. Hello. Mm. This is Barry. What am I doing here? <laughs> Hello, you. Uh, hey, Hello, Joel. Hey. Joel, we've decided we to call on. you here so that we can meet in the land between our two territories. Okay. <laughs> we got your message. Ooh, Are you loud and clear. Do you like my, my, my pet, my, the Jeremy, the donkey? Do you like the donkey? Mm, yes. I definitely her. wasn't harmed at all, ever. Wait, 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 wait. Just the one hit. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Same, look. You see. Oh. Yeah. For now. For now. I will keep hold of him for now. What do you mean for now? Listen up. What do you think you're doing wearing that hat? Do you think you're a wizard of some sort? <laughs> uh, no, I honestly forgot that this hat was on. <laughs> sure. First, you come for our aesthetic of a floating island, then, you come for our hat. We see what you're doing, Joel. Hey, I'm not building on the floating islands. The floating islands, I'm inspired by Avatar, not by whatever. Uh, sure. Oh, sure. No okay. inspiration from us. It just happened to be at the exact same time. As I already we built had our it island. planned, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So sure. you want to build an embassy? A gir embassy, yes, yes, that's right. A gir embassy. Well, we had a little think about that, didn't we, ladies? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, we did. And well, we refuse, uh, but we'd like to. We'd like to negotiate. Okay. Yeah, we want to make a deal with you. What, what, well, you we have to oh. end Jeremiah's. Oh, no, that's oh, no, no, oh, that oh, wasn't what we discussed. That we oh, okay. didn't talk about that. What's Jeremiah? Okay. <laughs> I've never heard of that. <laughs> we decided. Who's, who's Jeremiah? Oh, you know, it's Jeremyism. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's a different branch of it. Uh, <laughs> we decided that you can build your Jure embassy, but oh. it has to be on the ground in the shadow of oh. our island. Oh, mm -hmm. but that's not fun, especially what? with my shaders. That won't work. Wait, you won't, you won't be able to get up to the islands because you don't have a broomstick like us. Yeah, and you're not magical carpet. enough anyways. No. They can't use that. It's not allowed. No, you can only are... access nope. the islands via magic broom. Everybody knows that. And you wow, have to be a right. member of the coven. Otherwise, you'll be cursed. Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. um, all right, but then you have to build your embassy, if you want to build one still, underground. In the holy land of Jeremyism. I think, Absolutely wait, hang not. on a second. Ladies, come over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking? You're gonna go. <laughs> hey, get out of here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. You crossed You're... land. <laughs> the land. Guys, Stay behind guys, the line. Guys, I don't want to build on the ground. No, we don't. No, that's not a good deal. That's a bad no. deal. I say we that's refuse the deal. We yeah, refuse the deal. deal. We absolutely okay. refuse. Okay. Yeah. We tried. Okay. We tried. We refuse. We refuse. Wait, hey. Okay. Well, we'd like to build our embassy. Oh. Oh. Is he just leaving? Oh, oh, we'd yeah. like, we, we'd like to gone. build our embassy in the very center of Jeremy Holy Land. Not happening. Not happening. That's where Donkey well, Jeremy's house is going to be. So. I, guess, I guess there's no Jer embassy then. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Oh. Just wait. Okay, but not in the center. <laughs> <laughs> How about you can build it on a... Oh, oh, wait, what? what? What just happened? You put out... <laughs> Okay. Now, instead of in the center, you build it on a floating island. It'll be nice and high in the sky and stuff. And you can Ooh. use. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that sounds good. We, we, yeah. We'll yeah. with that. We can, yeah. Okay. And it can't be big. And the island can't be above any of the Wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you giving us rules? Rules? Wait, wait, no, 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 It'll be it'll be near the center. Don't worry. It'll be in a nice place. Okay. If you're choosing the island, then we're choosing your build zone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Fine. You've already Good specified one. that it's got to be underneath. Yeah. It can't be there. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much space underneath it. Okay. There's one more thing, Joel. Okay. I think I think we may have a common enemy at the moment. Is this the There's... magic police? I thought that was yeah. you guys. No. 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 We thought it was you. I thought it was you. No. I don't know who that is. I think we can call a temporary truce between our two rivalry wait, wait, groups. Wait, 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 wait. Were we not at a truce before? I'm confused. <laughs> no, of course not. That definitely oh. wasn't a truce, no. Oh. No. Um, oh. Until we figure out who this magic police is, we can be temporary allies. Temporary allies. Okay. Okay. Do you want to shake on it? Oh. <laughs> Hold Go on, ahead, Supreme me... Witch. Okay. 
But he's trying to that? find the button. <laughs> oh wait, wrong one. Okay, hold on. <laughs> All right. Shake. This is going really yeah, well. Oh, hey! With Joey's meeting adjourned, us witches have quite a lot to think about, and there are very exciting things happening on the server. I'm so proud of this coven and this server in general. Hello, sir. You're on Catherine's roof. What do you sell? Um, nothing good. Okay, cool. So, in between those clips where I had a little bit of off-camera time, I did a stream and I worked on this main island of the coven. So I added this tower right here as kind of the entrance area, which I think helps out. We have this moon-shaped lamp and a path heading into the coven. I've used some of those logs that I got from the dimension to kind of tie in right here. And I also started on this tree, which I think is beautiful. Needs a little bit more work, but it's all coming together. I really love it. While I was working here, Lizzie came by and gave me a gift. I'll roll that clip right now. Okay, let's go see what Lizzie did. Oh my god. Look at it! Chat, look at it! It's so cute. <gasps> Lizzie! Oh my gosh, it's the absolute best. Oh my goodness, look at me. Look at me! It's so cute! Look at hers! Oh my gosh. This is the best. This is the absolute best. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Yay! <laughs> Yay! It's so cute! Oh my gosh, Lizzie. She's so talented. She did this. Like, just now. Like, she just got on and was like, yep, let me make this really epic thing into the game. Like, if I had to do that, I'd have no clue. Right. Goodbye, Lizzie. The wands for the coven are just oh so cool. I absolutely love them. Look how gorgeous mine is. I've never really had a lot of pink in my life, but I've just gone and really adapted the pink color for, for my entire island and aesthetic, and I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's super cute. Thank you so much, Lizzie, for doing this. Well, at this point, I've had a whole bunch of time studying as a witch, and I feel like I've really upgraded my powers to another level. But let's be real, I've got a long way to go before I can call myself a true beast tamer. For now, though, I think there's a bunch more stuff to do around the server. Let's go! First of all, there's the coven. Here is this amazing, amazing build. I think this is Scott and Jimmy put together for Halloween. Let's go in. Okay. Whoa, it's on the last page. Somebody's been reading this. Welcome to Halloween Scavenger Hunt. The goal of this challenge is to gather as many points as you can and have the most points by the end of the event, November 1st. Okay, cool, cool. So here are the points that we can get. Any potion is five points. Okay, okay. You know what? This doesn't seem too bad. And it seems like nobody... Oh. Jimmy has started. Jimmy's the only one. Am I allowed to like look and see what they have? It doesn't really say there's no rules. Right, well one of the things worth the absolute most points is a broom, which is not crazy hard to get. I guess it is because of the vial of animation, but I, I've got a bunch of them from killing the wither. Um, a bat in a bucket? <laughs> 10 points for a bat in a bucket? Wait, wait, wait. I could totally handle some of these. I gotta do that, right? I wanna win. Next up is the art auction. So I didn't participate in this the last time it was here, but there wasn't a lot of art with me. So this is basically an auction where Joel is selling fan art, which is very cool. Look at all of this art. It is absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, is that me? Oh, it's so cute. Wait, Scott has bid 10 diamonds. I'll place a bid on this. I'm gonna say 20 diamonds. I think that I'm gonna get outbid, but you know, it's early game. It's not close to November 1st yet. These are all so amazing. Oh my goodness, look. <gasps> Whoa, small fishy, good job. Oh my goodness. We look like, like movie characters or something. We're so epic. Thank you for making art of us that's so epic. I'm gonna let Catherine bid on that. Um, By the way, if you want to send me coven art, you can. Um, I'm kind of a baby YouTuber, so my Twitter and like Instagram are not super big. So every time you tag me in fan art, I see it and I make sure that I save it. If I've liked it on Twitter, I have it saved. And if I've uh, like put it in my collections on Instagram, I have it saved. Um, you can see those things. And 
yeah, I, I keep all of the fan art. So if you have any and it's not getting seen, tag me in it. I'm I'm like pretty guaranteed to see it. Okay, Joel, this place is not safe. Not safe at all. What? Hello? Joel, we're gonna shop. Oh my gosh. I actually kind of love this one. I know it's Jeremy's one, but that's adorable. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at these cards. <gasps> wow. Wait, is this a bidding on all of them? All of them? I'll bid. I don't think Whip's gonna let me have this for 64 diamonds, but at the very least, I'm driving his price up because he's kind of rich. Oh my gosh. Nobody has bid on this one, so you know, sure. <gasps> is that one me? Oh my goodness. Yep, yep, please. Oh my gosh, look at the girls. <gasps> Sorry boys, girls are way cooler. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, yes, please. Sorry, Catherine, I'm gonna outbid you. Right, well, I know you're not supposed to hope this, but I do kind of hope that some people outbid me there because I can't afford all of that art. I'll, I'll have to go mining. <laughs> I kind of low-key want it. Maybe I hope they don't outbid me. I don't know. Ah, it's kind of epic. Taking a brief break from all things scavenger hunty and Halloweeny and witchy to just work on my base for a little while. Haven't built anything other than the coven in quite a moment, so I think it's time that I properly add some leaves to this tree and get it looking good. All right, it's looking quite a lot better and fuller. It's not quite done yet. I still need some more leaves, but I've run out of all of my leaves. So I'll have to go down there and harvest some more before I can place more leaves. But this is such a cute little autumn tree. I really love the detail. The next logical thing for me to build now that the tree has been a little bit more completed is a bridge. So basically down here, I've been crossing this river <laughs> like this forever and it doesn't look good it's a mess but i did it because i only have one heart and when i didn't have good armor the eels were a real danger they could have very easily killed me i don't think they can kill me anymore but still it'd be nice to not have to get my feet wet when i'm crossing the river the issue with putting it there is it's kind of hard to get to because like there's this steep bank right here right and i can do some terraforming around this but i don't want to flatten it it's a lot easier to have a path come kind of swing this way. So maybe we put the diagonal bridge right here instead. I think I've decided that I would like to do the edges out of cobblestone. I know that not all of you are cobblestone fans, but I really like it. It's just a nice, simple, basic block. But I'm going to do the insides as andesite. Oh, whoop, ghost block. Just to kind of, I don't know, add a little bit of difference. Hopefully it'll make sense. All right, what do you think? I think that I like it like this. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not sold. It's pretty simple. I'll give it that. We'd obviously have a path of some form coming up to it like this on this side. And we cross over and there would be a path kind of over here. Just kind of connecting the dots up to our little gardening area. I like it. It's a lot better than the oak planks. I'm just not entirely sold. But I haven't used a lot of modded aspects to it. So... Maybe if I did that, I would like it a little bit more. For now though, friends, that is going to be all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and supporting this series. I hope you're all having a fantastic day, and if you're not, I hope it gets even just a little bit better. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.